Hey, it's Lauren from Trip of a Lifestyle. Today, I want to show you how I was able to download apps from another country's Google Play Store onto my Android phone. If you've ever tried to do this yourself, you probably ran into the this item not available in your country error message, but I found three ways around that and the first one worked best for me. If you're visiting a foreign country for less than a year, this method will work great for you too. It was perfect for me because I'm currently traveling across Australia for three months, but I'm from the US. I just wanted to download some Australian apps without messing up my American ones or having to get a new phone here. The first step is to create a new Google account, which you can do at gmail.com or in the Gmail app. Now, you may be asked to verify a mobile number during registration. This is seemingly random and sometimes it's not required at all, but if you are asked, it's probably best to use a mobile number in the country whose Play Store you want to get into. You could always ask a local to help you out with their number. All they have to do is verify a one-time text. As I was signing up just now, it didn't even ask for a mobile number though. Like I said, totally random. Next, you're gonna open up the Google Play Store and tap this icon right here. Then you'll tap into the account you just made to switch into it. At this point, your account isn't registered to any country's Play Store. That's okay though. Sometimes all you needed was to get out of your home country's Play Store. Go ahead and search for the app you were looking for. If it pops up and installs, you're good to go. But if it doesn't, the next step is to get into your target country's Play Store, which takes a bit more work. The only way to move forward from here is to add a payment method in that country. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have a payment method in that country. Neither did I. So I went to the grocery store and picked up one of these Visa gift cards to use as my payment method instead. By the way, I was only planning to download free apps, but Google still needs a payment method to verify your location. If you're using this hack and you don't actually wanna buy anything in the Play Store, you can just spend this gift card later somewhere else. No money lost. Anyway, just add the gift card as a credit card and make sure to register for the country you want. And when you're asked for a postcode, feel free to use the address of the store you bought it from. Worked for me. If you go back into your country settings, you'll see that you've been placed in your target country's Play Store, meaning you can finally download that app you wanted. Now, I do wanna mention that while that one is my favorite method, there are two other ways to solve the item not available in your country issue. The first is to change your country setting on your existing Google account instead of creating a new one but that can only be done once every 12 months, so be careful. The second is to download an APK version of the app you need outside the Google Play Store, but that comes with some serious drawbacks. If you wanna learn more about these two alternative methods, I wrote a whole blog post about it at tripofalifestyle.com, and I put a link in the video description. Safe travels. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe or follow along on your favorite social media platform.